Hey guys, I'm Keely. Wait, there he is. This is Philly. <laughs> Welcome to our channel. Oh God. Here we want to share some of our day-to-day -day life, as well as some of the crazy adventures we've got up to. And man, this last year has been one hell of a ride. We left everything to spend months in South America, from dune bugging across the desert to cycling the salt flats with friends. Driving deep into the Amazon rainforest, meeting family to experience nature at its rawest. Astounded by the beauty and life as well as the destruction. Next, we ventured up to Canada, spending time with friends. They brought us into their life, making new memories. Sharing the wilderness of the country that they have made their home. But the beauty of Canada and South America weren't the end. Next, we entered into our biggest adventure yet, making a tiny home on wheels. It started as an empty van, but with a lot of work and a lot of time, this shell started to get some structure, it started to take shape. And now, well now it feels like a home. And this is where we are, van life in London. Oh God. Video talking is not easy. <laughs> Tech 7,493. It's been five days. <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we need coffee. <laughs> In London for three months now in this van and the first month there was like two massive storms in the UK so that's a bit crazy then the second month we had like five attempted break-ins of varying intensity mm -hmm. yeah and uh, we had our tires slashed and we had our van graffitied so like quite a lot happened in the second month of us living in the van which was quite distressing and then the third month living in the van is coronavirus so I work in a school and like almost what 13 days ago uh, I got a cough and that's when we realized we'd need to go into quarantine mode like self-isolation and obviously we don't have a house we're in this van so the only way we felt we could isolate without interacting with other people would be to get out of the city only we'd heard like lots of horror stories about people getting loads of hate like van lifers online I feel like we went into this lay-by life, because we're in a lay-by for the last two weeks, uh, really yeah. worried about like locals and getting lots of hate and the police coming and people trying to move us on. And I feel like we've actually been really, really fortunate because like we've had two weeks of real quiet wilderness isolation. We'll shoot some, some B-roll so of, we can play it over. Of our beautiful... Yeah, yeah it's our, been... our lay-by life's been really, really beautiful. Mm
saying that, like, we have had three visits from the police and a couple of locals, but they've been super friendly. Mm -hmm. And I think at first we were a bit worried that they're going to be like, move on or like, really questioning us. But they weren't, they were like, intrigued. And that's a really nice thing that we tell people immediately, I've had a cough, like, stay back from the van. And then, like, open the door and talk to them. And they're like, inquiring about the van and interested in the builds. Mm -hmm. And we've had really positive interactions with people. And I think that's it as well. Like, um, like, I know that there can be like some sort of weird stigma towards van life in general yeah. as an alternative lifestyle. Yeah, life. you want them to see that we're just normal people and like that this is a choice we made and a choice out of something positive. And I think whenever uh, like my family or friends found out that I had a cough and we were isolated in a lay-by mm -hmm. outside of London somewhere in the countryside, they were all like, oh this is terrible, this must be such a hard time to be doing van life. And we've just like not experienced that at all. Yeah, from the stuff that's been going on like in the, in in London, this is a breeze. Yeah. Like thankfully, your cough hasn't worsened, and um, like we haven't both of us haven't been showing any other symptoms or anything. So mm -hmm. like we're both healthy, and I know that there's people that are less fortunate. Um, than us, I feel really mm -hmm. grateful right now. Like you say, the symptoms have went away, so like we've come out on the other side of it now, and just in this time of like isolation out in the countryside it's not been a hard time for van life it's actually made me love van life even more because um in the city we can't open the door and we can't just hop out the side and go for nice walks mm -hmm. like we're super paranoid in the city all the time so we're always getting in and out of the cab we don't want people to know that we're living in the van yeah there's always this paranoia about not wanting to get moved on by people if they see you in the van or not wanting to get robbed and there's just this constant and then, fear. Yeah, just like our, we have to whisper yeah. a lot because you don't want to be heard. And then, yeah, just like the parking restrictions, like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're moving around a lot, and it was it was fine. Um, because we had like the climbing center we mm -hmm. went to for showers and stuff, but it's gonna definitely be really weird. And to climb, of course. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be really weird going back from feeling so free and able to like open the van and see lots of nature and not worry about laughing and making noise to like going back to parking in a city mm. only now having no cafes or restaurants or showers yeah. or climbing centers so we've like had a really nice two weeks in this lay-by we got time on our side we're in a state of hope We have a friend that has just bought a house and is willing to let us come and use her driveway yeah. um, to park up in, to get a shower, to top up our water and um, electricity if we need it. Um, so we help her move in and fix up her house and she lets us take showers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mutual <It's>... benefit. <laughs> so, yeah. We've just been thinking about this two week period and not thinking about beyond it. But yeah. now that we're moving to our friend's driveway, now all of a sudden we're thinking about, is this us for the next like three four five months like when does school reopen when's borders gonna open and i think it's only really today that we've started thinking the same way probably a lot of people have been thinking the last two weeks like how long is this going to last for yeah. what is our future what are That's our next it, steps like, how can we sustain ourselves for this length of time so during this time in lay like we've had a lot of time thinking and talking about stuff and we've always wanted to do a vlog um this just seemed like the perfect time to do it you know to actually start thinking about what it is like why do we want to make a vlog what is it we want to put out there and i feel like our name whether you think it's cheesy or not chapter by chapter really is genuinely all we want to do is like share our life in the current chapter that we're in right now because before it was you know a house in Lurgan back in Ireland and then it was Australia or in London or whatnot yeah. London 
yeah, so I feel like I'm not going to pretend this is a van life uh, YouTube channel or it's a travel channel. It's literally just us because everybody's life goes through phases or chapters. And I think it's just we've had a lot of time thinking about what it is we want our next chapter to be. Yeah. And so to speak. And I think I really do want to put video content and we want to try and be creative together and we want to journey into something together. <laughs> it's getting dark. So we're going to have to call it there before you can't see us anymore. But we just want to send lots of love and mm -hmm. positive vibes and it feels contrived in a world that's full of scary negativity right now. Yeah. But um, yeah, we just like want people to think, reflect, challenge themselves to think about what it is they want. And I think that's all we can all do. And stay safe and yeah. stay in your van. Stay safe, stay home. <laughs> Thanks for watching. What um, are we doing? Are we just subscribe, hit the bell icon. Subscribe, I don't know what that means. like. Obviously, we can't do that. Share. Peace.